Hey there, I'm Al. Today we've got a short video for you. It might be a little controversial, but I promise this is not clickbait. Uh, these are my thoughts on Blender sculpting. So before we dive in, be sure to subscribe. So I'm using Blender version 2.83. I know there are more recent versions. This is what I'm using. This is new enough for what we're doing here. I've spent a couple different sessions just playing around, doing some sketching, some sculpting in Blender, and I haven't been able to really nail down why I dislike it so much. And there's, there was just something about it that wasn't quite right. It didn't feel natural, and I didn't know why. So I'm in Blender. I'm gonna go to Sculpting, and this brings me up the default Blender Sculpting. So I finally nailed it down as to what in the world's going on. This is the default sphere. Watch what happens. I'm on the draw brush. And if I draw a slow circle, yay, that works, right? It's an oval, whatever. But look what happens if I add, increase my speed. So I'm going to draw a circle on my Wacom tablet as fast as I can. You see how that turned into a pentagon? What's happening there is the software Blender simply just isn't tracking. My hand's moving in a circular motion but it's not picking up all the information. It's kind of like, oh yeah, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. It's like lagging behind. Let's do that again. Let's do a couple different brushes. Now I've played around with some of the scene settings. So at first I was like, oh, maybe I'm using the cool Eevee renderer and that's why it's not working. It's my understanding that this is Eevee. So that's not the case. I'm pretty sure I'm using the most uh, performance-based viewport right here. That's what I'm using. And it's simply just not very responsive. So when somebody who's new to sculpting hops in here, I feel like they're already set up for failure. And I know you can create wonderful sculpts in Blender, but it's just not buttery smooth like I'm used to in ZBrush. So maybe I've, I'm entitled and I have this, uh, I don't know, this idea about me that it's gotta be that way. I've seen amazing people do wonderful things. So if you are a Blender guru out there, what am I doing wrong? Because in my opinion, Blender sculpting sucks for this reason. Hopping in here and you get this kind of performance, this is terrible. So I really hope that this is user error and not knowing what to do. But in my opinion, this simply should not be happening. So let's show you ZBrush Core Mini. So ZBrush Core Mini, let's do a new sphere. So let's show you the difference that I'm talking about here. Everything's default. This says it has 11,000 polygons. It actually looks more than Blender's polygons. I could be wrong though, not positive. Let's do a slow circle. And now uh, on my Wacom tablet as fast as I can. So there's simply no lag. It is that buttery smooth sculpting feel that I really enjoy, like that everybody should get to experience. And I know there's lots of things under the hood that I don't know how it works, all the programming magic as to why ZBrush is, I don't know, more optimized for sculpting and Blender's not. But if Blender is gonna say, hey, we are also a sculpting program, then they're really gonna need to get on their game. So what I'm gonna do now is increase this polygons to, I don't know, 500,000. So I'm using Sculptures Pro, the clay buildup brush, just to increase that number. You'll see we're almost there already. Uh, since it's a small draw size, it's just adding a lot of polygons. And already you're seeing the clay buildup brush start to lag. But we're at half a million polygons. So with the clay buildup brush, at half a million, we definitely have the lag. If I go back to the standard brush, this thing, once again, that buttery smooth, it's doing just fine with most of these other brushes. That's why I think Blender Sculpting sucks. And... If you would like to please educate me in the comments below, that'd be great. Hope you have a wonderful day. Please subscribe.